I honestly really fucking miss when YouTube is just simple. I guess that could be said about literally anything. Oh, I miss the days where it was simple. Like, how many times do you hear an old head say that? What do you think it's going to be when Gen Alpha is 18 years old and we're scolding them or lecturing them on how simple YouTube used to be? Like, what a bunch of old heads. We're a bunch of old heads, guys. If you're watching this video and you're agreeing, wow, yeah, I do miss the old YouTube. You're an old head, just like me. But it's true. YouTube did used to be so much more simple. It just fucking worked. I miss the days when I would just fucking sit down and watch like Bayesian Canadian play Hunger Games or I would just get into small niche communities where like a friend of mine who would have like 10,000 subscribers would be considered like literally famous to me. I was in the early Minecraft community like around the PvP era when Hunger Games was at its highest Bayesian Canadian um was posting sky does minecraft was posting captain sparkles was posting even fuck it told buskis you guys remember that fucking guy you get what i mean i i miss it when you could just log on and those guys were the fucking guys like they were the kings of the fucking castle they owned youtube man especially minecraft we viewed them as celebrities in that time and what were they doing all their videos were were them sitting down with a friend and playing a 30 minute game. It was basically a 24 person battle royale. That's all they were doing. There were no funny edits. They were just playing and having a good time. It was just them genuinely playing. Like nothing crazy was going on. That's all it was. And I fucking miss that. Where content was just simple. Content was kind of more of a authentic expression of what a like a person is now it is completely polluted by audience capture and retention and ctr and you know what i totally understand why youtube is a business there was only a niche few people on i say niche when it was probably like a hundred million people but i know now it's probably like two billion daily users it was so much more simple Videos were so authentic, but you know, yeah, I totally get it. People are trying new tactics. They're over editing. The money's coming in and people are getting paid. People are hiring people. Production quality is going up. I totally get it. And I'm not necessarily completely hating on it. I mean, I understand things need to get better over time. I know that humans also at the same time, while things may be improving and Things are getting better, things are getting more efficient. That people just fucking miss it being authentic. A great example of this as I can I can see is um recently from just authentic expression being very, very needed and greatly received because it was so evidently needed was Sam Sulek. All he fucking does is work out and talk to his camera. Like does that not feel like old YouTube? Like how fucking awesome is that? A lot of people are complaining and saying they miss the old YouTube, but I think we're all also participating in the fact that what it looks like, what, what the current YouTube landscape is now, we're all contributing to that. We're the ones watching, we're the consumers. And guess what? I know for a fact that so many people miss the old YouTube that I know, I also know for a fact that if someone actually stuck to it, and made genuine content as a full expression of themselves in the old YouTube fashion, it would probably work. I haven't just talked like this in forever. I, I'm honestly like a little nervous and uh, like a little embarrassed, to be honest. The main subject of the video used to be the people and their creativity and their, you know, genuine expression of having fun or just enjoying themselves in, in, in any way. Um, has kind of just been sucked out of it. It feels like the main, the main subject of the video feels like it's editing now. But that's what it feels like. Like the editing has gotten so uh, awful. Another example, um, since I own it, I, you know, I'm trying to grow a YouTube channel on my main channel. Um, I do a lot of research and a YouTuber I have done a lot of research on was Pack God. 
and how he came to fame because that was recent and it was very abrupt and he did it very successfully and now he's gaining like 10 to 20 million views which that's a lot of views that is unheard of but now that just seems kind of normal like mr beast is averaging you know like 100 to 200 million views it just it just seems so absurd you know what i mean it just seems so fucking crazy but that's just normal now i just think that is so absurd and if you look at his editing style oh my god guys it's it's like so bad it's it's so intense there's so much going on these videos get so many views and people are like oh my god the editing is so great congrats man I'm not even judging the content i'm just judging the editing style it's it's so like high octane there's so much going on there's i feel like my brain is just being stimulated in every way possible the whole video is fucking shaking someone laughs or someone yells and the text starts shaking too the whole video is already shaking and now you added more shake to the text and if that's the way that youtube's headed like that's the way that youtube's headed it's interesting because with gen z's which you know i'm 22 i'm probably on the older half of gen z but our lot we were younger and at the exact same time when we were younger youtube was a more a less octane less pressurized space people weren't worrying about as much as they are now it was simpler less brain power just all around kind of a more tame environment doesn't that completely match up with when we were kids for gen z people i really think it hits home when people say oh i i missed the old youtube because with YouTube, it's more pressurized. Our lives are also more pressurized. Everything is more intense. We're competing for more. Everything is more stressful. Just all around, you just you're just tired, and you just want to fucking you want everything to be simpler. But I think it's honestly like up to us. I think that it's up to people like you and me to kind of put the brakes on complaining and saying how we miss the old YouTube and actually bringing it back because in the same sense that our lives kind of lost that child or my life i don't want to speak for everybody but my life kind of lost that childlike wonder or i think that in or the simplicity and happiness just around it I, in the same way that i feel like youtube kind of has um it's up to us to curate that this is like what i've come to terms with like oh i miss the old youtube yeah, well, you haven't really been taking part in that, have you? You haven't really been giving those people who are participating in that kind of old feeling of YouTube. You haven't been watching them. You haven't been giving them any views. N none of that. Like, how are those people supposed to succeed if they're getting no support? But I also think that's how it goes in, like, real life. <laughs> you know, not just YouTube. If you're complaining about the simplicity and happiness and stuff you didn't have to worry about are you actively taking steps in your real life like to make that happen because i i mean hell i i haven't on if you liked the video then hell i'm gonna keep posting this kind of shit and you could also subscribe and stick around and watch some more yeah thanks i'm just gonna be talking about shit on this channel look at all those villagers just having a good ass time over there um because you know what i don't have a place to dump my feelings and it's it feels nice to just talk i hope you tell someone you care about them and i hope you try to keep life simple okay bye bye